Yo, what is good, man? Wind is blowing. It's nice and chilly up out here. Get the last bit of the sun, man. Yo, shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to the whole everybody, man. Shout, shout, out, shout out to everybody. For real, man. Shout out to all the subscribers. Everybody that hit the like and subscribe button when you waited watching this. And real quick, man, I was having a um, conversation yesterday uh, with my man Showtime, man. Shout out to Showtime. Y'all can follow him on YouTube. That's uh, S-H-O-W-T-Y-M-E. Showtime. I'm going to put his uh, link in the description and everything. But uh, shout out to him. We was having a conversation. And I was basically telling him the same thing. And listen, and I stand on 10 when I say this. And ain't nobody going to change my mind about this because I know what I know. A lot of the stars of the 2010s and today are overrated. They just are. They overrated in the standpoint that we we calling them superstars, this, that, and the third. When a lot of them are really role guys. You know what I'm saying? It's, it hasn't really been no superstars in years. When I think of superstars, I not only, it's a multitude of things. Superstars are guys that advance their game and advance their craft. You know, perfect something that they didn't come in the league with. You know what I'm saying? Not just, not just perfect something that they, that they didn't come in the league with. Not just do it on both sides of the court. Not just like with lead by example and be the vocal leaders, and be the leaders on the court boxing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole bunch of things. A whole lot of things that they go into being a superstar. You know what I'm saying? It's the intangibles, the things you can't measure. Not not just, the, the thing is, we've dumbed the superstar uh, title down over the years because a lot of guys just simply don't fit it. So we go straight to the numbers. It ain't just the numbers. It ain't just the production. It ain't, it ain't just, just uh, uh, leading by example. It ain't just leading the troops. It ain't just getting guys on the same page. It ain't just being the, the, the lead guy in practice and on the court and off the court for those guys. It ain't just about, it's about being professionalism. It's, a, it's about a multitude of things, man. It's a multitude of things. And a lot of these people that's in these spaces, man, they don't want to argue with it. They don't want to talk about it. They want to talk about what they can't see they can measure. Why? Because they, they don't know what hard is. They don't know what the intangibles on a basketball court look like. Because they because they barely, they, they, most of them they read about basketball, then they watch it. That, and that's the truth. And basketball reference and all of these other and all of these other wired and watered down websites man, they lead the charge. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, they don't they don't want to talk about that. They they don't want they don't want to talk about the intangibles that you need and all the other stuff that come with being an all-around superstar and an all-around leader. Back then your superstars, a lot, a lot like a good amount of your superstars over the years and over most of this 20th century will go to leaders. Go to, go to not just go to guys on the team, not just go to vocal guys in practice. Go to leaders. Michael Jordan, my, Michael Jordan said it himself. If you go to his teammates, Michael Jordan never asked me to do anything that he didn't do. You know what I'm saying? It's all about getting guys on the same page, man whole bunch of things it ain't it ain't just it, it, it ain't it ain't just the numbers it ain't just the production it ain't just none of that other stuff man like that that you value today it's a whole multitude of things whole multitude of things and the thing is you got to keep applying the pressure to a lot of these to a lot of these children to a lot of these children that talk basketball bro you got to keep applying the pressure to them because they, they've been blinded and they've been misled. Jesus Christ. They've been blinded and misled, man, because they follow blind leaders. Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy right there. 
They follow blind leaders. They follow fake leaders. They follow, they, 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 they get missed. They easily, they easily are led in the wrong direction by the ESPNs and the highlights. Because I can guarantee you that most of these kids that's uh, fans of, uh, say, somebody like Steph Curry, and they uh, right now, and they've been talking about, hey, they've been fans of Steph Curry, and they ain't under the, and they, they at the, the they in their mid 20s or younger. A lot of them ain't been really watching basketball that long enough. They watch more highlights than they watch basketball. These are the same dudes that play 2K while the game is on. They play 2K while the game is on and talk about how somebody killing. It's crazy to me, man. Especially the kids on the East Coast. If they talking about how they Curry fans, man, like, listen, I don't believe it. Because the thing is, man, the, the Golden, most of the Golden State Warriors games was played at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. So you had school the next day. So you didn't stay up and watch them games. You got up the next day and watched highlights. You went to the box score. Now you got, now you got parlay fans. Now you got fans of they parlays. Now you now you got fans of bets, betting guys. I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy right there. But this is what you have now running the game, man. You got the analytic stat nerds running the game. You got advanced advanced stat nerds running the game. You got basketball reference geeks running the game. Merchants of that. They don't know real realistically is taxes on a lot of these players that that been playing and getting away with a lot of the shit that they've been getting away with over the past uh, uh ten plus years, over the past decade. Since 2013, the birth of analytics has really killed the game. It's destroyed the game because it's destroyed the minds of, of those who talk about it. It's easily altered their minds and altered their, their, their perception. A perception that they never had before you two came around. Easily altered it. And these, and these are the things that a lot of people just don't know. You know what I'm saying? So realistically, when I, when I say Steph, LeBron, Kevin Durant... James Harden, all of those guys. When I say all of those guys are overrated, when I say it because a lot of the stuff that they've been living off of, they was living off of previously in, in college or high school, whatever. Then they then they came when they first came to the league, they did it in spurts. And in their first couple of years, they did it in spurts. But then you know what the NBA did? They changed the rules. They changed the rules of like while they was on the court. And for everybody else, man, they didn't change the rules. So LeBron could run over four or five people, man, and lower the shoulder to the basket and, get, and could barely get called for uh, charging fouls. Meanwhile, 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 like somebody else uh, uh, charging to the basket, they're going to get put in a box. See, the thing is about LeBron James' play style, man, when, like, when you actually officiate him correctly, now you put him in a box. Now now, now, he, now he got to think the game. He's got to do more thinking the game. You know what I'm saying? Basically, LeBron, what LeBron is doing now is basically the same thing he's been doing, but 10 times slower. That's, that's all it is. Then you go to Steph Curry with all the, with all the antics that they have, with all the antics that the Warriors done set up. Steph Curry didn't come out of the gate swinging for the fences like he was doing in Davidson. No. It's a goddamn lie. Steph Curry, bro, like he was, he was struggling his first couple of years. And anybody want to tell you he missed games, that's a lie. He only missed one real, one real season. 
Other than that, he was still playing a good 60, uh, 60 games, 50 to 60 games in his first couple of years in the league. But it took a while for that for that to go about. Same thing with Giannis. Took, took a couple of years for that to go about. You know what I'm saying? Joker plays basic basketball. He plays within he plays with X's and O's. He he's a great passer. He plays within the sets. He plays in the system. That's 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 his mark on the game. The problem with him is just lack of athleticism. Effort on defense, man. Like he's starting to put more effort now, but that wasn't always the case. Luca is basically the Euro League. A lot of the stuff that Luca gets away with. Every time he dribbles the ball, he carries. And it's barely ever caught. Barely ever caught. Barely ever caught. Same thing with Giannis and same thing with a lot of these dudes that handle the ball. It's a lot of carrying going on. They just let them get away with it, man, because they got name value, this, that, and the third, and they need to sell something. But when you start to officiate the game correctly, now you put these guys in a box. Now, now they have to do things differently. Now they have to work on their craft. Now, now they have to the the to get a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those guys, like a lot of those guys, the referees, the NBA front office, and the, F, and the NBA officiating crew, and the referees, and the NBA as a whole, didn't put pressure on those guys to 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 change their games. <laughs> They led everybody to believe it wasn't anything wrong with their game. As individual players. This is why I don't value these players as superstars. They're hyped up, but they're hyped up role players. Hyped up. They they they've worked continuously, continuously on one thing that they was always good at. Steph Curry worked continuously, continuously on his shooting. And then got in the weight room a little bit. Nothing else about his game expanded. The production uh, the production is there because he's still able to get away with shit. But he only really worked on shooting. He worked on getting his uh, getting his shot hit getting his shot off faster. Kevin Durant worked worked on um his arms and, and making his shot more complete. Kobe has said it. He said when he first came in the league, he used to shoot from the hip. It was easy to get to him. And then when he started to work on just uh, just that that quick release, that top of the head release, nobody could get to him. LeBron James only worked on his body, conditioning, staying staying athletic. I like I could skip, I could skip work, I could skip a, a shoot around. I don't really need to practice. I don't need to really work on X's and O's. I could just wing it. I could just wing it uh, like the same way I've been doing for all of these years. I could just wing it. Let's just wing it. Let's just do that. Let's just do that, man. So, listen, man. It is what it is with these players, man. And you're seeing the same re uh, replica replication with with uh, these new up-and-coming players. You know what I'm saying? Joel Embiid, bro, is, is he can be complete, but the thing is he's really lazy. It's really lazy, man. Like he he doesn't he doesn't want to get con get in condition. Doesn't want to work. Same thing with Zion. Same thing with uh Ben Simmons. Doesn't want to work on their game. They believe their game. Everybody has to adapt to them. That's it. Zion and and uh Zion and Joel's problem is conditioning. Ben Simmons' problem is less. Like he don't want to work on his game. These dudes refuse to work on their game. They, these dudes refuse to cut out their bad habits. And you and you seeing that unfold. Now they're all young players that that are up and coming, but they're role players as well. The thing is, the things that they do on the good on the basketball court works because they're not they're, they're not the plan A on the opposing team's uh, defensive list. They're not the plan A on that. Cam Thomas is not the plan A. We we see him as the plan A as a scorer. He's definitely he's definitely a a, a, a 
he's he's definitely the scoring machine in ter- in terms of our team. But there's a lot of other players that contribute to other things. It's one of the reasons why I can't why I'm believing more and more of what this roster can do in terms of my nets. But I don't want to fall off, man. Like because I don't want to just think about the nets. Like Anthony Edwards, he's trying to become a complete player. You can see it. You can see he's he's trying his hardest to work on stuff that he wasn't initially initially good at. If the shot is not falling, get on the boards, get the get the defense, make make it make your mark on on those on those ends of the game. And make your marks on those ends of the game. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Make your make your marks on those those ends of the game, man. If you can't make your marks on them, them, them the, those, end, those end, ends of the game, then you basically a role guy. Becoming, be, becoming a, a better leader. You know what I'm saying? Becoming, rallying the guys. Yo, man. Yo, yo. You, yo, you got it. Stay the course, man. Yo, yo, hey. Yo, listen. Keep facilitating. Hey, yeah. Listen. I got everything else. Yo, you take care of that. This, that, the third point. Direct direction. You know what I'm saying? Because the coach can only do so much. Coach can only do so much. You know what I'm saying? But for different teams, you have to have different stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Jason Tatum. It's another player, man, like this, heavily overrated. Because the thing is, once once he, once he runs into somebody that's going to battle against him and go toe-to-toe with him, he he's he, like he he'll he'll shy away from that challenge. He did it a plethora of times with Jimmy Butler, plethora. Then he did it with Steph in the finals. <laughs> and then you looking at the, and you yelling at you and, and if you and if you are uh if if you're a Jason Tatum guy, you're looking at the screen and them playing the Warriors in the finals and you saying to you, you yelling at the screen, why are you not scoring on Steph? You know why? Because you didn't work on that. You could easily get pushed away from the basket. You're not imposing your will. You're not, you're not imposing your advantages. And that's Jason Tatum problem. The same thing with Jalen Brown. Same thing with a lot of these guys. When they get they set when they get setbacks, man, they 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 don't run that they they get nerfed. When they plan A's go astray, they get nerfed. They don't have a plan B. They don't have a plan C. They don't have a plan D on the court. They don't. And you and you can see that in the way that a lot of these got a lot of these dudes play, man. We all see it. Everybody see it, man. So yeah, man. It's it's it's, it's disgusting. It's absolutely gross. Everything that we've been seeing over over these past ten plus years, realistically, man, like, you know, when, when I when I think back on the era of of the two thousands, most of that era, or even the early portion of that era, the, I I go specifically to the early portion of that era. The best basketball that you have ever seen, the most competitive, like. And no quit basketball that we've seen is from 1996 to 2004. It's the most competitive, no quit era that I've ever seen. Because you've seen guys come in as slashers, come in as 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 uh just passers, and come in as facilitators, come in as as uh the, these just one one trick pony guys, and, and and turn into and basically turn into all around specimens man all like you know guys like kobe coming in he was a dunker great young athlete you know working on his range working on his game working on his conditioning worked very hard guys guys like vince carter ai t mac man like they they came in with talent and then they expanded to to the scores that they became you know what i'm saying those type of guys, man. Like when you when you think when you think about though that craft, and then you run on, and then you run into the one trick ponies. That's the two thousand and three uh, uh 
uh, draft class, and then you run off with that. None of those guys after that really worked on anything. The only guy to me that, that was about to work on something that I've seen in the past 10 years was Kawhi Leonard. The average NBA career is four to five years. From 2014 to 2019, you watch Kawhi Leonard turn, turn, uh, uh, change from this defensive specialist young guy and a guy that could just play defense and, and be athletic and all of these things to, to starting to perfect his craft. Starting to perfect the short game, starting to perfect uh, 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 the one on one, starting to starting to do uh, do more damage in the post, back to the basket, working on different areas of his game, starting to perfect those crafts. LeBron James, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, they 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 didn't work on a multitude of things. They they didn't work they didn't they they didn't perfect a multitude of things. They perfected one or one or two things. They perfected a few things here and there. That's what they perfected. What the things that they perfected, they already knew how to do. They just they just enhanced it. That's all they did. Kawhi Leonard, he worked on it. And it cost them for working on it because the thing is, all we're really gonna remember. Is Kawhi as a clipper and when he failed and when he got injured every single time, that's all we're gonna remember. We're gonna we're gonna criticize him for it. And then because we don't we don't like what what uh what that has happened with the Clippers, then you get oh 2014, he wasn't a leader, he wasn't this and that, that he didn't lead that team. Then 2019, he came on a team. Uh, uh, that was already in the conference finals, man. Even though they was in the conference finals, what three years before, before before he got there in 2016, you're gonna hear all these things. You're gonna hear the best parts about Kawhi's career get nerfed and basically get taxed. And it's all because of, and it's all because of his Clippers career. And it's all all because of that. It's all because of that. That's all that's all it's because, man. But man, hey, it's the game of basketball. But I, I personally believe, and I'm gonna end this video real quick, man. Um, I personally believe that someday, real, real soon, that we're stop we're gonna stop we're gonna stop lifting these players to 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 these to these un like the, to these crazy heights that they're being lifted to. What we're gonna start doing is is focusing on uh, t the 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 essence, the true essence of what basketball is. It's gonna be a team someday, man. It's gonna be a team real soon, from one to eleven, where guys are they know their roles, they playing their roles, they helping each other, and and they they doing everything for each other. And that's gonna be a part of my uh, one of my next one of my videos in the future, because I see that in a team this year, and I'm gonna let you know who it is, real soon. But we're gonna get back to the true essence of basketball. When you look at college, when you look at WNBA, it's not all about one guy, one person. This is what the NBA glorifies. The media glorifies it, and then the NBA front offices now. That social media is out, man. They push it. They push that button crazy. They push that indiv individual button so crazy. It's a button that they push astronomically, and and it sucks. But yeah, man. Um. Anyway, man, uh, I just wanted to, you know, say say my piece about where where a lot of players is is today, and where a lot of players is going, where the league is going, and um. That's all it is to it, man. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button, man. Um, it's uh, YouTube.com forward slash at Leaf4788, man. That's the page. I'm going to holla at y'all. Mañana.